Auckland happens to be the home of Alexandra Park, the largest harness racing track on the North Island, and home to the prestigious Auckland Cup. I visited Alexandra Park on a recent adventure to New Zealand, and although there was no racing on the day of my visit, I was able to see something very special. The resting place of Cardigan Bay, who was a world champion down under in the 60s, winning the Auckland Cup, the New Zealand Cup, and the Inner Dominion. Cardigan Bay, by the way, was driven by Peter Woofenden. Yup, the father of Dover Downs top driver, Ross Woofenden. Later in his career, the famous pacer then moved to the United States into the Stanley Dancer Stable, grabbing more huge stakes events in North America, eventually becoming the first standard bred ever to win $1 million. He's buried right outside of the Noel Taylor New Zealand Trotting Hall of Fame, named in honor of the loved president of the Auckland Trotting Club in the mid 80s. And of course, I took a step inside of this wonderful museum, which contrary to its name, isn't all about trotters. There are plenty of pacers highlighted in here. The Hall of Fame honors lots of equine athletes and the horsemen and women who have contributed so much to this sport in the Kiwi country, past and present. There's even a whole room dedicated to Cardigan Bay, with the colors of Stanley Dancer proudly displayed. Plus, I saw a few North American colors as part of the collection, like those of Clint Galbraith, the trainer and driver of the great Nyatraws, along with the Hall of Famer and world famous Hervé Fillion, one of the winningest harness drivers in the sport's history. Special thanks to Karen Blanchard and Stacy Markham, who graciously showed me around the Hall of Fame on this very special day. Now, next time I go to Alexandra Park, I'll definitely be there for a program of great racing. And hopefully, that'll be sooner than later.